Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be building a titanium dioxide nanowire using Vesta. Of course, the best part about Vesta is that it is completely free. Um, I still don't have my microphone back, so I'll be speaking directly into the laptop. So I apologize for any inconveniences this may cause. It might be a, a muffled sound, you might hear my laptop fan, but most importantly, the content will be good. So without further ado, let's get started. So in a previous video, I opened up a titanium dioxide unit cell. It was a conventional crystal. So I'll be starting by opening that up. Uh, if you have any questions about how to get these crystals uh, or using the basics of Vesta, I'm actually making a new YouTube playlist called Vesta Beginner Tutorials. I've also reorganized my uh, playlists to be more accurate of what's going on. So please, please all go, please go check that all out on my channel. Okay, so without further ado, let's open up our titanium dioxide unit cell. So here it is. Uh, the blue atoms here are titanium. As you can see, the red atoms are oxygen. So when we make our nanowire, uh, we, we want it to have a certain thickness. So I'm going to make it two unit cells thick. You can use this procedure to make it any... Uh, thickness you want it could be one unit cell three unit cells or just do what I do and make it two unit cells so First thing we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to make a supercell. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to edit Edit data Unit cell if you've watched some of my videos before you'll you, you should be pretty familiar with this process and then we're going to click on this transform button and we're going to transform it by just scaling the diagonal elements of the transformation matrix by two. So then we press OK. Yes. Oops, let me turn off my volume here. And then we press Apply. Then we select OK. So now you can see that we have our 2 by 2 by 2 supercell. So it's been expanded by two in each dimension, the A, B, and C dimension here, or X, Y, Z dimension. So what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to pick or elect this C dimension to be the length of the nanowire. So that means what we have to do is we have to des destroy the periodicity in the A and B dimension. So we're going to keep the periodicity in C and destroy the periodicity in the A and B dimension by using vacuum. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get rid of these extra atoms on the outside. You can go ahead and delete all of these, but actually I found an easier way to delete them is to just go to edit bonds and then just delete all of the titanium and oxygen bonds. And by doing this, it actually will delete all the ones on the outside. So now here's basically what we have. It's very nice. And here is the funny part about Vesta. This is probably the biggest challenge people have in Vesta is if you remember I said before, we want to preserve periodicity in the C dimension. Oddly enough, this means that this is the dimension where we have to delete atoms from. And so what I'm going to do is just center it on B. So I press this B up here. And by the way, this will be in my Vesta beginner tutorial series. It's all, all these, what all these buttons do up here. And I'm going to uh, break the periodicity in C, which you have to do in order to preserve it. I know it sounds strange. And so if I look in the C dimension, I just see these titanium atoms are repeating. So I'm going to just delete these atoms here. That's literally it. That's all you have to do. It's that simple. Um, there's no other repeating atoms in the C dimension. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to File, Export Data. And I'm going to save this as a XYZ. So save as type XYZ. And I'll call it ti 2 nanowire save press no to save any hidden atoms and then what i'm going to do is i'm also going to save it as a vasp file so i'm going to come to vasp okay and i'm going to do the same thing o2 for some reason i have to include this dot vasp in here i'm also shouting trying to make my voice as loud as possible because the laptop microphone doesn't pick it up as well as i'd like so now I'm going to save this, save in Cartesian coordinates. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to my titanium dioxide nanowire XYZ file. I'm going to open it. And you can see I have 150 atoms. 
Okay, so I'm going to copy these atoms. And I'm going to come into the nanowire.vasp. And the VASP file actually just saved uh, information on, uh, it, it basically deleted all the atoms in the A, B, and C dimension that were periodic or replicas. So this information is garbage here, so we're just going to delete it. And we're going to paste our information from the XYZ file. Okay. So now... I have some number of titanium, some number of oxygen. I'm going to rename the file TiO2 nanowire. Okay, now we have to figure out um, how many titanium atoms we have. So when I count, I look at this line here and I see we have nine. Okay, then I scroll down and I see we have 58. So then I pull out my trusty calculator. 58 minus 9 plus 1 is 50. Okay, so we have 50. And if you recall, we had 150 atoms, which means that we will then have 100 oxygen atoms. So I'll then go ahead and delete the atom labels. Okay, and this is really nice because you can clearly see that the TiO2 stoichiometry was preserved. Uh, usually, uh, my experience is when you make these nanostructures, you sometimes don't exactly uh, preserve the stoichiometry. It's well known in scientific literature that you can have astoichiometric nano um, structures. You might have, you know, titanium rich, oxygen rich, or if you're in, using cadmium selenide, you might have selenium rich, cadmium rich. Uh, this is very common. So, but in this case, it works out very nice. So what I'm going to do is save this. Now there is one thing we have to do. So remember, we wanted to preserve periodicity in the C dimension. So that means we need to apply vacuum in the A and B dimension. So I'm going to apply 15 angstroms of vacuum, uh, just so there's 15 angstroms of vacuum between the periodic rep replicas. So if I add 15 to seven, I'll get 22. Same thing here, I should get 22. So I'm going to save this, come back to Vesta, and I'm going to open my titanium dioxide nanowire.vasp. There we go. There is our nanowire right here. Um, these atoms here are just periodic replicas, so they are they are redundant and they are not present in your calculations. So if you wanted to submit electronic structure calculations of the nanowire, you would just use the information in this file, but you'd have to also include the atom labels, which are present uh, in this file here. So back to Vesta now. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually just gonna expand this uh, using the boundary method. This is not the transform method that we used in the beginning of the video. So these changes will not be reflected in the file. So I just press apply. So this is just for vis uh, visualization. Um, I'm now going to delete all these extra atoms. And you can see here, now we have our beautiful nanowire. Uh, it is two unit cells thick, two unit cells tall. Uh, you could have made it just one unit cell, which would have been basically this, where I'm highlighting here. Um, but yeah, this is a titanium dioxide nanowire uh, made in Vesta. And I hope you enjoyed. Thank you.